Welcome to another XLM video. And I'm sounding stupid because I feel stupid sometimes when I look at this chart. But that's only because it's creating a different pattern that a lot of other cryptos are. And I'm going to talk about what's happening at the small degree in a minute. But I just first wanted to show you if you haven't seen this particular pattern, this is my current view right and i did post this recently probably like a week ago uh, and it's the same pattern for xlm and xrp uh, slight differences uh, i did talk about this in a previous video but i'll link those charts down below and the reason why i don't post much about this lately is because i'm just observing right now, you know that I don't believe this is going to go to the moon right now. So I don't need to make that so clear, right? To to piss off the trolls even more because I know the trolls are watching. And I don't give a shit because I know you are wrong. And every day that goes past, you are seeing it for yourself. That you are stupid. You don't know what the hell you're doing, right? Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not because I'm not. Right, but I do realize ahead of time, shit, something's not right here. And I will tell you guys always. And I will continue, absolutely continue to post XLM updates. But when I see that it's necessary, because I don't like to be so doom and gloomy about this, but unfortunately, it's the reality. I do see a lot of headwinds, you know, ahead of us, uh, problems in the markets that's going to fucking drive shit down to zero, right? So if this doesn't go down to zero, it's because it means something, right? It means there's there's a real utility here. There's a real cause for this coin, this crypto, this fucking oversupplied piece of shit that we call XLM, right? I don't have love for coins. I just see the value right now i do think that the pattern is giving us an indication of its future value that's a good thing now check out the chart below i'll link it but this is a very specifically crafted idea like i've, I've gotten so much better with looking at waves now that i don't have biases anymore screw biases all they do is get you in trouble so why would I like to fall in love with an idea or a coin? I don't. That's actually better because now I can produce ideas that are very, you know, I'll look at other coins too. They're very objective, right? If something goes a little bit weird, I'm losing money, man. I don't want to lose money. So I have to, I'm forced to come up with something better, something that I see that's starting to give me gains in trades right? Then I'm like, okay, that's working. That means I must be right here and there. And it doesn't mess with me too much, right? This is a slow moving coin. Now let's go down to the hourly. So let's go back to the whole beginning of this move down here. Now I've posted the idea that this is, that was a D wave down there, right? It was a D wave. Now, what was this move according to my latest view, right? And it's so ridiculous. I don't like it one bit, but it's looking pretty accurate these days. Um, I'd say more than likely, this one in particular is a wave E and it's moving up in zigzags. Now these zigzags are pretty big. They're not small by any stretch of the imagination, but they are like very sketchy because they keep retracing the shit out of life right so i've been trying to I, I, i've been tracking them somewhat and i can see that this is happening and it's a very common theme among some coins right i don't want to i don't want to use specific words because <laughs> i have a few i just want to i just want to be fair right this is like a one wave one zigzag the most complicated kind that you could never figure out in a lifetime unless you knew RS wave. Uh, I assume could, 
I could be wrong, right? You know, I'm, I, I could be wrong, okay? This may not be the right count. It, the count might be... Uh, no, look, I think this is the right count for now. Just because the other count is more ridiculous. <laughs> so I won't bore you with that. So basically a five-way move, correction five-way move, a massive retracement. Uh, so zigzag, one, right? Really sharp correction, two. Zigzag, three. Really sharp correction in a... I don't know 100% yet if this is a four. It could be. But the way this is moving is very hard to tell. All I know is that it's not impulsive. It's not a fucking go to the moon thing, right? All those idiots that said greatest transfer of wealth is happening. You guys are stupid as shit. And please don't comment on my videos again unless you want to provide some constructive criticism. Because I'm, I, I can forgive and forget but if you continue to put that bullshit out man man seriously man far out don't do that it's not pleasant especially when you got treated like this after the greatest transfer of wealth look this is the greatest transfer of wealth right here oh my god it's grinding like a fucking meat grinder i hope you feel grinded you fucking piece of meat <laughs> i don't care i really don't care if this video gets thrown in the bin the point is that it's not the greatest transfer of wealth. There is a lot of correction going on, right? It's corrective. I really do think that Bitcoin is close to the top, but it's not quite there yet. It's going to grind a little bit more. I'm going to produce a video on that tomorrow or the day after. All right. And that's really, it's a really hard video to make, but I have most of it sort of the understanding is there from the beginning but it's just fathoming fathoming the craziness that is bitcoin it's absolutely ridiculous compared to what my usual wave analysis entails but the waves are all there it's nothing it's nothing out of place really it's just exaggerated you know when something's exaggerated you know like women when they have those big fat lips look like a duck yeah it's just exaggerated or big implants, you know, exaggerated. You're kind of trying to figure out what the hell's going on here, right? That's that's these kind of waves with Bitcoin at the moment. They're exaggerated. They're not, they are perfectly in line with the analysis and the view of Arius wave, but they're so big. It's like far out, man. There's a lot of mania. And that's what's driving these crazy moves. Can't you see how crazy they've gotten lately, right? That's feeding off Bitcoin, right? But they mean something and it's not accidental. So I will produce more analysis on this moving forward, but I can see with this particular crypto, there's a lot of uncertainty because of the sharpness of the waves, and but there are clues. So these are, this is why I've posted this right now. It's because there are like clues that are saying, okay, one, two, three four okay so four looks like it's going to be probably going to be drawn out okay i would say it's going to be drawn out like shit. why because alternation right if if this is wave two which by the way it's looking like it is it's so sharp and ridiculous but if you look closely at the internals it makes sense uh wave three makes sense it's a zigzag Right, wave four would probably be more complex. So you're gonna get a lot of complexity evolving over the next week or two as this unfolds. And then you're gonna get the final move up, which will probably be a way smaller zigzag, which will mean nothing and you can't trade it anyway. So it's untradeable. This is untradeable. It's very untradeable, unless you're crazy about range bound moves and you've got it mastered down to an art. Yeah, uh, not me, that's insane. So if you look at my VRA chart, I managed to turn that around in its complexity and make it tradable into a 
something that's going to produce some good gains, right? Percentage wise and also through analysis, understandability for videos, right? This is, if I try to make trading plan for this, forget about it. It's not going to happen. Look at how stupid this pattern is. It's ridiculous. But you know why? Because my larger, my longer term view and all that sort of thing, right? Um, I don't want to even get into the nitty gritty of where this is going because that's, that's, uh, uh, it's even harder than what I'm, what we're dealing with here. <laughs> it's, especially with what's coming down the pipe with the markets, right? I, I think there's a lot of problems going to happen in the markets. It's, it's going to be so insane um, that, yeah, I can't put it into words yet, but I will make a video that will try and explain that for XLM soon, right? But not yet. It's not going to happen. So in terms of what happens now, you're looking at up and down, up and down. Well, this is what the markets do, unfortunately. When there's this type of alternation, things get extra stupid and things start to go sideways even more than before. And then you get your zigzag. And then it goes completely in the opposite direction that you wanted it to go. This is the type of thing I'm seeing, right? I believe that will happen, right? This is not a joke. It's it's severely sad and disturbing. So concentrate on things that I would, which is not this, right? It's not fun. That's why I told you that I'll remove my long position from this because this, I, I had a feeling things were going to get nasty. But if it was tradable, I would definitely produce ideas that would allow you to trade it, but it's, it's not tradable. It's absolutely, it's, it's a joke, okay? I know that I've basically said nothing in this video, but it'll come to a shitty ending with this one uh, in a way that probably most of these, you know, greatest transfer of wealth people might not like. So... I just thought I'd make this video to highlight my latest view and why this is not something I really would post a long or short trade idea about is because it's untradeable, right? It's too choppy. It's a mess. Future will be different, I believe. It'll be much better. But for now, stay away from this shit, man. I'm telling you, it's not worth your time. There are many other things to focus on. And believe me, they are hard to find. And VRA has only just become something that I would continue to produce ideas on because it was so close from being something that I would just bin right now. But thankfully, something came out of it. So check out that idea and I'll catch you soon on another video for XLM.